The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. I'm Father Mike Danderan, the pastor at Holy Trinity Parish in Assumption, Ohio. And right behind me, the most significant event of your life takes place each day here and every weekend. We're about to journey for six weeks into fellowship, into getting deeper into the scripture of the upcoming Sunday, as well as studying and discussing parts of the holy sacrifice of the Mass so that each time we gather, we get more out of the Mass. Hello, my friends in Christ. My name is Leitha Stefan, and I have been a member of Holy Trinity for the past 18 years. I am married and I have two kids, Sarah and Andrew. I wanted to share with you some thoughts about hospitality. Hospitality begins in the parking lot, and what does that mean? Hus that means uh, having um, a well-lit, easy access to church. Hospitality means having someone meet you at the door with a um, warm smile and a handshake and calling your first name. Hospitality is about making feel, everyone feel welcome and they're right at home. God wants a relationship with every single one of us and also wants us to be with him as a family, uh, praying together, sharing our concerns, having compassion for one another, caring for one another, all of this as we gather at the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. Hospitality is about lowering barriers so that way God's message can be received, especially by those who are in most need of hearing that message. At Holy Trinity, our office is open during Sunday uh, services. If you need anything, you can stop at the office. Hopefully that explains to you what uh, hospitality is at Holy Trinity, and I will see you at church. I don't know about you, but when I travel on the interstate, the turnpike, and I gotta make an exit for gas or maybe for the bathroom, you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the easy and easiest on off there is. I'm looking for that exit where I can get off and there'll be no hassles. No long lines, no one to interfere with my mission, but get in, get out, back on the interstate. I wonder though, if we have that same mentality when we come to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. You know, it's Saturday night, Sunday morning. You know, you got this on the docket. You're gonna get to church and bring the family. And maybe that in and out, on and off, no hassle mentality that we're looking for when we travel is coming with us to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And I gotta tell you, if that's the mentality one brings to this most important moment of our week, we're setting ourselves up for failure. What do I mean? If we come in here looking just to get in and out, no hassles, no interruptions, no distractions, we're going to miss a great opportunity to give praise to God. You know, when we gather with that mentality, you know, the crying baby in the pew behind us is really going to annoy us. If we gather for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass with that in and out, no hassle, get in and get done mentality, you know, the extra long homily is going to be a problem. Or that parishioner who is trying to get, get our attention out of the way out to talk about the crops, the health, the family, they're going to be a distraction. They're going to get in the way. That mentality of no distraction, no interruption, it's not going to work. Why do we come to Mass? We gather, first of all, united together with one another. I can go to an exit and not have to talk to anyone. But when I come to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, I got to remember it's an encounter not just with me and Jesus, but I gather in this church or any other church to be united to the person sitting beside me or in front of me, to the crying baby behind me, to the needy person or to my left or my right. I gather with them to give praise and glory to God. See, we gather for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass united as a communion of saints 
like the communion of saints in heaven. So when we get to heaven, we're going to be united with all the saints. We're going to have a connection to them in a way that's even more powerful than the human connections we have now. We're going to know them by name. We're going to feel a, a solidarity with them. And we're going to have concern for them as they have concern for us. We will dis demonstrate love for them as they demonstrate love for us. That's the communion of saints in heaven. And when we gather for the Mass, we gather as a foreshadowing of the communion of saints here on earth. Yeah, this experience of communion and connection, hospitality, some would say, that's the mentality we bring when we gather for the Mass. And it all begins in the parking lot. It really does. When you're pulling in and you see that person in front of you, takes the spot you want, you bless them. Because that's the same person who's going to be joining their voices with yours and giving praise to God. You take the time and you greet them. Maybe walk into church with them, introducing yourself to them if you've never met them before. This communion of saints begins in the parking lot. And then you assemble in church. And yeah, prayer before Mass is really important. It gets you in the right mindset. But if you don't make an acknowledgement of the person to your left or to your right, where's the connection? Where's the hospitality? Where is the communion of saints experience in that? Yeah, take the time. Say hello. Good morning. Offer a smile. Hospitality is so central in helping all of us experience that connection that we have as a human family, that connection we have as Catholics worshiping together. So when we gather, yeah, it's not about just Jesus and me. It's about we united together to give worship to him. And my friends in Christ, that hospitality and that communion, it begins with you and I. I know here at Holy Trinity, we've got great ushers. We've got great greeters. We've got people at the door who are going to say, hey, good morning and welcome. And they're wonderful and we need them. Keep up the good work. But that hospitality, that connection to others, that experience of the communion of saints, it's dependent on you and I. It all begins and ends in the parking lot. When we have this mentality that we gather united for this purpose, we're not looking to dart out the door at the very end of Mass immediately going to our car, immediately getting back on the track of life. We take the moment to say to the person to our left or our right as we're walking out the aisle, how you doing? And be willing to take the time to listen to them. What happens at the altar is powerful, extraordinary, life-changing. But the care, the concern, the compassion, the communion of saints experienced in the parking lot before or after Mass, that can be as equally life-changing. Take the time in your group. Discuss what it is to experience real hospitality within your parish celebration of the Mass. But maybe also take the time and share a time when the lack of hospitality, the lack of connection, feeling like you're the stranger unwanted, and how that impacted your celebration of the Mass. Talk amongst yourselves as well. How can each of you individually make a difference on establishing that connection with the communion of saints here on earth at each and every Mass? Enjoy the discussion, and until next time, know of my prayers, my support, my love, and I look forward to seeing you in Mass. Music